Hey guys, what is up? It is Jack9488 and I have uh, an After Effects tutorial for you guys today. Um, it's a uh, transition and this is what it looks like. It's in my most recent uh, edit, the tutorial market one, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it just sort of slides through like so. The other place I did it is right here. That's a lot longer. And then there's one more place where I did it. I think it was just there. That one was quick. So yes, that is what it looks like. That's what we're going through today. So first things first, open up After Effects, make yourself a composition, and get two clips that are overlapping each other by about half a second. So you can see here, I've just got a plain clip here, just a cinematic, just because that's a clip <coughs> that I could use. <laughs> Um, and then the other clip on top here is overlapping it by half, no, one second, sorry. Um, yeah, so first thing we're going to do is going to go, when it stops lagging up, you're going to go layer, new, adjustment layer. And what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I like to split the layer. You don't have to do this, it's just a thing that I have to do. Oh, shit off, shit off. Um, and then you can rename it. Okay, so you got your adjustment layer. You're going to go to the sidebar here and you're going to type in offset. And this comes with After Effects, so you should have this. And drag it onto the adjustment layer. And you're going to go to the beginning of your adjustment layer. You're going to click the, the stopwatch for shift center 2. And then you're going to go to the end and you're going to click on this bit. You're going to go 360 times. Then you can choose what you want to do. I'm going to do 8. So what this will do is it will it will spin it around a certain times amount if that makes sense, if we just go down here you could change it uh, maybe to 9 because it has to be an odd number, sorry I forgot that, it has to be an odd number so I'll do 9 and that's good enough then, so as you can see here, so far we've got that, it skips to that, and it does that. So to change this, we're going to go to the top clip of our two clips up here. You're going to press P, T for opacity. You're going to go to the beginning of it. Uh, click the stopwatch for opacity, select 0%. Then go to the end and select 100%. So you could do it, you could do it that way. Because, but then it fades in, you know, quite late. So we're gonna go to just a bit over halfway, and we'll do it there, and drag that one back, back a bit as well. So it's sort of it's fading in the middle of when it's spinning really fast. Okay, so because we can't, we're gonna add a blur basically. We're going to add a directional blur, so type in directional blur, and we're going to drag that onto our adjustment layer again. Um, get rid of all of that. Go down to directional blur. Make sure it's upwards because we don't want the blur going sideways because it's the blurs, the camera's shake uh, rolling up and down, so that's how we want the blur to go. We're going to go to the beginning and click the stopwatch to set a keyframe. Go to the end, click that for another keyframe, then go to the middle roughly and choose a number about 50, mm, maybe 100 actually, fucking hell, 100. Okay so now we have this, it starts going, it blurs in and then it blurs out and then it skips to that so far right now you can see here it starts quite suddenly and it just stays like that for the whole thing so to smooth this out we're gonna click on this we're gonna click on offset and the shift center 2 we're gonna go into graph mode right here which is something I just learned about you're gonna click on it and then you get these two little handles and if you drag these handles about you can change the speed almost sort of thing. So you can see here it's going to go 
it's going to slow down, then go really, really fast, then slow down gradually again. And there's a noisy car outside my house. So if I just render this little bit out for you, we can see here, that's what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. And that's basically it. Um, other things we could do is add color curves if you want. So click on your adjustment layer and go to effect correction curves. Go to the beginning. Uh, set, set the keyframe. Go to the end. Set another keyframe for just nothing. Then go to the middle, and you know, just just mess around with the colors a little bit. I like it to be quite, you know, how I like it. I like it quite blue. I think blue in the middle of these looks really good. That's a bit too much of a red, actually. Okay, so you don't need to be that precise. So if we look at it now, and we get rid of those sounds. Just wait for this to render out quickly. That was quick. This is what it looks like. And that looks pretty good. And that is it. That's the transition. That's, yeah. I mean, it's good. It's effective. And it looks cool. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. I'm going to be doing more tutorials because, you know, I think tutorials really help the community and that's, that's one major thing that YouTube used to be about. It used to be about looking for how to do things and now it's just entertainment, entertainment. So I'm going to be doing more tutorials. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and yeah, have a nice day.